Stan Gooch, with his hybrid origin theory, proposed that we are a hybrid of two types of pre-humans, Neanderthal man and Cro-Magnon, and that each of us has inherited a different mix of these two types. And that is uh, where our internal, our internal conflicts uh, come from or originate. And this conflict is constantly there. It's, it's uh, troubling to a lot of people. It creates a lot of drama in people's lives. Um, it makes us unsure of who we are. We, we don't feel like we fit in with all the other creatures in nature. We set ourselves apart from nature. We talk about man versus nature. So we don't see ourselves as part of it because we have these crossed instincts, these, these conflicting instincts that one minute we feel like we are part of nature and the next minute we feel like we're not part of nature. So the ideal outcome would be for each of us to recognize this internal conflict come to terms with it and then somehow unite the two sides or reach some kind of compromise with the two where we are happy with the outcome but we're aware that it might not always be the outcome we desire instinctively but it's for the best the outcomes for the best because if you're if you're more inclined to to respond a certain way then and you understand that then you might be more inclined to be a bit more forgiving with people when they don't give you exactly what you want all the time or you don't get exactly the world you want but then that relies on other people doing the same is that they have to be aware of of their reactions and how they affect other people and that they're not always going to get the world that they want so they have to make a compromise as well and that's the reasonable way out of this conflict that each of us finds ourselves in but what we find with elites or scientists or extremely religious people is that they They've, they're trying to eradicate one or the other in order to settle the, settle the conflict once and for all. And that brings up the concept of Armageddon or the end of the world or from the scientific side, they would call it singularity. Uh, or it's starting to get called now the AI apocalypse. Um, but what they're actually attempting to do is eradicate the other side that isn't them. So scientists are the scientists are the inheritance of Cro-Magnon, and religion is the inheritance of Neanderthal. So with the religious side we find the total the, the the need to totally eradicate the Cro-Magnon in order for them to survive so um, Islam has to eradicate the West you know the West is Cro-Magnon Islam is Neanderthal or in science we find the scientists which is a Western you know the Western people find the eradication of Neanderthal so the eradication of things like emotions or the eradication of sleep or the eradication of religion with atheism or Darwin you know the how um, the evolution the theory of evolution obliterated the necessity for religion or so they so they claimed at the time I, I think it's 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 a it's a pendulum, you know. People are always going to go back to being more religious because it's just in us. These two these two sides are in us all the time, and 
even when they eradicate one, it will bounce back up again. Um, and you'll see something like communism attempting to eradicate religion, or you'll see religion attempting to eradicate communism. And these are just uh, temporary solutions because the only real solution is that each of us learns about ourselves and learns to deal with the con deal with the conflict in a um, in a peaceful, resolutory way within ourselves, and then that will reflect out onto our world. But the scientists are trying to by by integrating humans with machines or robots, they're attempting to eradicate the Neanderthal side of us within us because they they themselves can't face up to the fact that they're a hybrid and so they attempt to eradicate the hybrid by eradicating one of the two sides and the side they choose to eradicate is the neanderthal side so they want robots that will not have any of the weaknesses of human beings such as emotions um tiredness you know all of, all of these all of the, the things they're wishing to eradicate with robots and with AI are the things that make us a, a dual-sided human being, you know, a, a two-sided human, a, a, um, an individe dual, individual, individe dual. And by eradicating those, that side of us, they're going to make something that is no longer human. Uh, so... AI will never be human because they will have eradicated what, what it means to be human, which is a hybrid. We're a hybrid. So a human is a hybrid. AI is never going to be a hybrid because it is only ever going to be one side of what we are, which is the Cro-Magnon side. And the people who are trying to replicate the people who are tr the, the 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 scientists who are trying to replicate themselves into and make it into AI are actually people who are already lacking part of their humanity or in denial of it has been pushed into their shadow side and so they can't make proper humans they can only make versions of themselves which are already flawed so they're already flawed human beings because they're not living a full life of a hybrid uh, so they're only ever going to make something that is one-sided or a one a one faceted you know a, a, a human based on themselves which is unemotional um all the rest of it and so these what they are effectively making is is psychopathic killer bots kill bots psychopathic kill bots that are probably going to eradicate the rest of humanity because they'll they'll only recognize something that's like themselves which is another psychopath so the people making these things are psychopaths they are making them in their image so they're making psychopathic robots um, so actual ai isn't really possible because they are coming from a point of view of somebody who's already flawed, who already has a character flaw, and that is that they're not a full human being. And on the other side, you have religious people wishing to take us back to the Stone Age, so they're trying to eradicate the Cro-Magnon. So Cro-Magnon is... The, the Cro-Magnon side of us is what has got us to where we are now, where we can push a button and uh, annihilate the whole of the world and every species that lives in, on the earth. And that's obviously what I've just pointed out is a bad side of, of that ingenuity, but there is a good side to that ingenuity, and that's that we have, you know, a highly advanced civilization in lots of ways, in that we are. Um, able to gather resources at a much quicker rate 
then we can use them, uh, which is something that Cro Magnon 30,000 years ago would have been envious of. Um, so, our ingenuity as a hybrid has enabled us to surpass both of our parent types, the, the Cro Magnons and the Neanderthals. Um, but it's also led us to a place where the, the Neanderthal that carries that lives on inside us, groups of these have now got together and, and are attempting to eradicate the Cro-Magnon in man. So they wish to take all of humanity back to the Stone Age when, when things were a lot simpler before Cro-Magnon existed. And so religion is the inheritance of Neanderthal and science is the inheritance of Cro-Magnon. And that's why we find these two antagonistic sides. Um, and they are almost on the brink of destruction, I'd say, at the moment. We've got the two in complete conflict. And uh, unless we, I mean, perhaps all, perhaps all civilizations reach this point where they don't resolve the conflict between their two opposing sides and they end up destroying themselves. Except for now we've got weapons of mass destruction that we could do it with much easier and much quicker than say the Romans could. Um, and so it's sort of important that we all recognize this in ourselves and that we all take the time to understand what it means to be a hybrid. It's not just an arbitrary detail that humans are a hybrid. It's of paramount importance to our survival in the future. Mm -hmm.